Hey, it's Mega here, and welcome to another desktop anime figure show and tell with Kurumi Tokisaki here from the anime and light novel Data Live. Okay, this is specifically from Data Live Mayuri Judgment, all right? That's the, the movie, all right? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to tell you how I got her. I got her, fr I got her from my figure collection, all right? This is a local buy, okay? And she's brand new. She's never been taken out of the package. She looks great. Um, and uh, so I, I found her on my figure collection. Uh, this is like, so this is like a Kurumi figure that I've always wanted, all right? I've always wanted this... Uh, I think their her her astral dress form is the most beautiful version <laughs> of Kurubi, okay? I, I really like I really like just the regular red dress that she wears, okay? I know they got her in a bunch of different outfits, but but this is the one that I like the most, okay? But she looks really good in black too, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> okay. Um but yeah. Um He's big is a big fan of Kurumi and she has so many figures and a lot of them are very expensive and this is one of them, okay? So also Hazemig is a big fan of Alter figures, okay? Alters make some of the best figures ever made, okay, is what I wanna say. Um I have a bunch of them. This one actually reminds me a lot of a Xenosaga Cosmos figure, okay, because the box is very similar. <laughs> it's this, it's this really clear box, okay. Hades Mega loves these clear boxes because you can use them as display cases, such so as probably what I'm going to wind up doing with this, with this one, okay. Um, but anyway, I found her on my figure collection or my figure collector for a uh, hundred. I, I think I think he wanted her for two hundred. I think uh, it's shipped or something. And and then then they wanted 190, okay. Um, and I found out that they were gonna do a reissue of this. All right, I think next year she'll be coming out again, so you you'll get a chance to get her um, brand new again. All right, but but this figure is like around 200 dollars. I've seen it 200 plus everywhere. Um, if you do pre-order her, you can get her for 188 on Solaris right now, and the shipping is about like 20 30 dollars. So. So I got her for one hundred ninety dollars cash. Okay, so I think that's a good deal. I don't have to. I didn't have to deal with the hassle of shipping and stuff. I just met the dude in Fremont, which is like you know, it's a couple cities over. It's like two cities over, no problem. You know, easy transaction. I didn't have to wait at all. You know, and then yeah, she's she's beautiful and she's brand new. He never took her out of the case. So so here we go. All right. Let's do the figure show and tell. $190, my figure collector. Um, I think, yeah, I think you can get her, if you could find a pre-owned figure of her, it, it's more, she's more than 200 bucks. She's probably 200, 230, 240, a lot. This is like one of the nicest Kurumi figures out there, and that's why I wanted this one, okay? I do have another one that's a copy of a Griffin figure. I might do figure show and tell on that one sometime, but it's a it's a counterfeit. So, <laughs> all right. So this one, I'm pretty sure is, uh, you know, genuine. I'm not really sure where he bought them from, but it looks like the real deal. Okay. All right. So let's go start the figure show and tell. So first we're going to go take a look at the box. Um, so like I mentioned, this Kurumi is based off of the Data Live Mayuri Judgment. All right. She came, This is the movie. All right. Pretty good movie. Check it out. If you haven't watched it and it says here Kurumi Tokusaki or Tokisaki Kurumi okay I think that's the Japanese text for that right there um, and then there is a kind of like a clock kind of image on the bottom all right and then here you got a Kadokawa sticker on the bottom and then the altar logo right here okay and it's just a kind of one of these cool clear boxes that you can see see through pretty easy the only thing I don't like about these boxes is they scratch really easy so try not to scratch it this one kind of like has some scratches on it already okay this side has a picture of the full figure right here and then half the figure right here and, and it says here 1 8 scale pre-painted figure Tokisaki Kurumi the sculptor is Akategawa Noboru and the paint master paint master right Itsukaichi Ayumu, okay? And if, you know, Alter is known for, like, they're very good figures, okay? And we'll find that out when we open her up. 
Okay. Here's the back. It says Data Alive. It's I guess they're kind of going with that kind of goth lolly kind of theme here. <laughs> with the text and everything. And then there's another clock right here. Okay. And then and then here you've kind of got like an interesting kind of pattern. It looks kind of like a gate or something. That's what I'm going to say. And then you got another altar logo down here. Right here it says Data Live in that same kind of text. One eighth pre painted figure. It's pretty much all the same info that we know already. All right. And then this is the that clock again and the altar logo. All right. Let's go check the top of the box. Top of the box says Data Live and all that same info right there. Okay. Okay. And then here is the. Uh, information more information about the figure it's on the bottom there's a sticker that says SS on the bottom and their website is alterweb.jp and there is oh yeah you know what I know I know where this figure came from I, I saw there's a label so he's a mega kind of knows where this figure came from I didn't ask him where he got it from but here it says Ultra Tokyo Connection, all right, in Torrance, California. So she was imported into the into USA for sale in the USA. So that's how that's how this figure got here. Okay, this was not ordered directly from Japan and imported here. It was actually imported through a U.S. importer, uh, Ultra Tokyo Connection. I think they're they work a lot with like Good Smile figures and stuff. They 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 import a lot of figures into the into North America or, or United States, all right? And so that's why there's this English label right here, okay? So this was imported by Ultra Tokyo Connection into the States, and then it was resold, you know, through like a reseller. Um, think of like uh, Tokyo Otaku Mode, right? Tokyo Otaku Mode has a lot of those figures that they, they import it through Ultra Tokyo Connection. All right, that's probably the cheapest way to do it, you know? That's what I wanna say. All right, so so yeah, that kind of gives you an idea where this one came from, and I'm pretty sure it's a legit figure. So, all right, here we go. Let's do the unboxing. Okay. Just for reference, the inside of the box has this kind of, I don't know, it's kind of like a red and black kind of plaid looking um, background, all right? Uh, huh. Yeah, that's interesting. It's only like on one, it's only on one side and the bottom, all right? <laughs> it's getting weird. Yeah, the box is a little weird. Okay, and then there are some instructions in here, all right? It's all in Japanese, unfortunately. Ah, she has a optional, there's an optional piece in there. There's a, so what you can do is you can change her handout to one with the gun in it, okay? The, the, uh, the matchlock pistol, all right? And then it tells you, yeah, you plop her foot onto the base. All right, so let's go and do that. Okay, so I just want to talk about the packaging a, a little bit. So I've been seeing a lot of uh, some some of the figures new. I, I think I just I bought another Kurumi figure and it was exactly like this. Uh, it was a Kadokawa one, and, and the box had these little kind of sticky plastics in it. All right, um, that uh, they just kind of put in strategic places. Uh, I feel that's that's kind of better than the plastic that they put around the figures. It's just really annoying trying to take those off. It's it's like a plastic kind of like this, all right, and it's just they just wrap it around certain spots so there's no paint transfer going on. Um, and I kind of like this better. It just looks cleaner, you know. You don't have so much extra plastic and waste after. You know, he's a mega opens a lot of figures and so much plastic. <laughs> so let's say, okay, so um, yeah, there she is, and then there's the extra hand. I we will uh, take a look at that after, okay. 
Okay, there she is, Kurumi Tokisaki in her astral dress form. Okay, um, that's the uh, that's the kind of like uniform she wears when she's a spirit. Okay, and so uh, it comes out in two. Well, there's like three pieces if you count the hand. All right, hand. The other hand is right here with the pistol, and um, and there's the base and then the figure itself. Um, Interesting thing to note, the base has a, a square peg. There's a square metal peg coming out, and then her, her boot just goes down into it. Only one thing is holding her up, okay? That's a good thing. It's a, it's a steel peg, um, so it's pretty strong. I, I hope she doesn't droop, because there's, like, there's a lot of weight on this side of the figure, so it may droop that way, but I don't think it will. It's steel, so... Okay, so uh, let's take a quick 360 of her, and then I will take a look at her more closely, and then we'll go scrutinize this figure, and um, we'll we'll check and see if there's anything, any kind of faults with the figure, okay, is what I'm going to say, and close. And we'll take a closer look at this figure. All right. So there she is. This is one of the best Kurumi figures out out there, okay? And it's my altar. Ah, okay. See you in a bit. Okay. He's making his back, and we're going to go scrutinize this figure and take a closer look at her. So let's start from the base and work our way up. And I'll tell you this, it's a very nice figure. It's definitely, it better be worth the $190, right? <laughs> All right. Okay, so we're going to start at the base and work our way to the top. So the base is just kind of... Um, clear red base all right and it says data live here and that's kind of gothic letters and it says dude it's got the kurumi tokusaki in um in kanji i think okay is it is it flat i know it better be for 190 dollars yeah the base is flat all right i've had figures where the base isn't flat and it's like warped or something all right and there's a bunch of japanese text here made in china and there's katakawa right here it says all right, and it's circa 2015, and so I guess uh, the Data Live movie came out in 2015. Wow, it's been six years already. Yeah, Data Live's been around for quite some time. Okay, so yeah, nice looking base. Kind of matches the red theme. All right, she. All right, let's look at the boots. So, I will tell you this now. The when they when when they listed that dude, what's his name? Paint Master. All right, Paint Master. Isukaichi Ayumu, I tell you, you know, this hats off to you, sir, because uh, you did a great job painting our 3D waifu Kurumi here. Okay, so let's take a look at it. All right, so you know, Hades Omega is a big fan of shading, and this figure has all sorts of shading in it. it the the paint is just beautiful, and it looks so nice and smooth. Um, this, definitely, you know, for a high dollar figure, it, it had better look really good, and it is okay. So there's the boots; they're really shiny. All right, so they're they're kind of like this kind of vinyl or or like um, like polished leather is what they are, I guess. It could be either that a vinyl or a polished leather. All right, and there's a they're really tall boots. They're they're like almost knee high boots. They're almost they almost go up to her knee. All right, and then um, and yeah, then you got these laces here, and then you can see there's um, it's got like the metal eyelets. If you look really closely, let's zoom in a little. Okay, yeah, you can see metal eyelets. They're almost like, mm, I would say they're like a, kind of bronze colored. And then you got a little bow tie here on each each boot. Very nice. It kind of looks like a combat boot that's really, really tall. Okay, he's a mega used to work, be in the military, and those are the kind of boots that we wore. Almost not that tall though. <laughs> okay, and then you can see there's the um, these soles are really tall, man. I have to say, you know, if it was to scale, that would be kind of like like three inch tall soles or something and it's it's kind of like a high heel also okay and you can see the um you can see the tread pattern on the bottom and there is some shading on the sole it looks like it's a little lighter at the bottom and then it gets darker to, towards the top all right and then the so the 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 front of the boot here is a little lighter at the tip also see lots of shading lots of shading it's very very kind of dark brown here or black almost and then it becomes like a light a lighter shade of brown right here all right and then you can see the 
the lace right here okay where it's tied and then yeah it gets so there's a little shading on the heel all right and then you can see the back so so you can actually see underneath the boot if i guess if we took this took her off of the peg here you could see this underneath too but you can see the sole right here it's got an actual tread pattern to it all right it looks very wrist realistic like a normal boot would look okay um it's a little lighter here it's kind of yeah there's a, just a lot of shading all over the place same same dealy with this one it's kind of black on the bottom and then it kind of goes up to like a brown or it's kind of like a, a coffee color you know almost like a chocolate color is what i'm going to say all right and then you've got that same metal metal eyelets for the uh for the laces all right it goes all the way to the top you can actually see into the boot a little bit all right very nice very realistic okay cool yeah and then there you get the bows right here okay let's go up a little higher let's take a look at the stockings she's wearing all right Ooh <laughs> okay so i'm not gonna uh, i don't do this for very many figures we don't really look up the skirt of many of my of my figures like i like to you know but you know karubi likes to show it off all the time and i know everyone wants to see <laughs> what's underneath the skirt so i'm gonna lower the camera angle here okay because that's the one thing about kurumi she's uh she wears a lot of lingerie sexy lingerie <laughs> and i know i know you guys want to see it right all right so here we go um so there's her uh, stockings all right these stockings are just really long socks i guess they're thigh high stockings and they got a little bit of lace at the end all right and then there's the garter all right she's wearing a garter uh yeah i think that's what it is it's a garter and then um and then you can see the yeah it's kind of lacy here and and yeah so it's like you can actually see the skin behind it i don't know how they you know the the paint is just as awesome is what i can say um you can see through the lace into you can see your skin underneath it it's crazy how they painted that in on i don't know how they did that maybe they what they did is probably they painted the skin on first and then they painted the lace on next they maybe use a stencil or something i don't know how they did that but it looks it looks real realistic you know that's what i'm gonna say okay the um the stockings are kind of like uh it's like a brown color almost kind of like the same color as the the boot but it's not as shiny all right it's kind of like a matte finish you can see the shading right here at the back of the knee it gets darker all right, same thing with the other side. It gets darker Let me see here. If I can shed a little more light on that. <laughs> okay, there you go. So you get a little, a little booty shot right there. She's wearing the black, uh, the black panties <laughs> from. Uh, there is actual scene in the anime where you she she's wearing her her underwear, her lingerie, and it's very very sexy. <laughs> and there it is. Okay. And it actually does have her, her the pantsu does have some shading on it all right it gets darker at the edges and lighter in the middle all right but you can't really get see too good a shot of her booty okay but yeah look at the uh look at the lace at the end of the uh the sock the stockings there it is again see you can see through it you can see her skin through it all right like i said i think they probably painted the skin first and then they painted the lace on but that is freaking awesome Good job, good job, by you, <laughs> Okay, then you can get a, you can kind of get a side, a shot of the side right there. I, uh, you know, she wants you to look at it. All right, guys, that's why I let you guys take a look at it. She wants you to look at it. That's why she's pulling her skirt up because she's just naughty like that. Okay, <laughs> all right. Okay, so now let's go take a look at the skirt. Now uh, uh, we've taken a look at her her fabulous gams. Uh, we can go take a look at her dress okay so this is the astral dress i actually i kind of not like the how the skirt looks um so i know in the anime her her astral dress is supposed to kind of glow okay and i think that's what they're going with with this it's kind of like a transparent orange okay i just don't think it looks all that good it looks kind of prize figurey okay and like yeah you can kind of see so, a, like a little wave here okay that like i said that transparent stuff is really hard to work with like yeah it looks a little wavy and not molding not so well molded right there uh, other than that yeah it looks pretty good okay and i think that's what they were trying to go with this kind of transparent 
I think it's transparent, but it has this allied coat of paint on it is what it looks like. Yeah. That or they or they painted it and they shaded it. So that you know what? I think that's I think that's what it is. It may be transparent. I'm not 100% all right on that, but it looks like it's been painted and shaded, all right? So you can see it's darker here and it gets lighter here. And and I think they're going for that effect of like, yeah, the glowing skirt, okay? Her her dress actually glows in the anime, okay? And I think that's what they're going for in this with this paint color. And you know what? It I think it does it works pretty good. It's it's like lighter and darker in some spots. Like it gets darker up here, it gets lighter here, and around the folds it gets a little darker. It's darker here. Okay. Very nice. And then, yeah, there's these kind of black laces that go around the dress. Very nice. I don't see anything wrong with them. If you do kind of look under the dress, you can kind of see where the, the black part separates from the, the red part. It just looks like it's very hard. It's very kind of intricate and stuff. Hard to do. You know, you can see underneath the dress, it's got some paint. In fact, I would think that I think the paint has some kind of like pearl color to it because it kind of changes color in the light too. So, so that kind of adds to that, you know, glowing effect. All right, I think that's what they're trying to go for. They're trying to make the dress look glowy. Okay, it just kind of looks kind of funky. But I, you know, I don't know how you would do that in real life anyway. <laughs> so have a glowing dress, right? Okay, so let's take a look at the upper part of the dress. So yeah, she's got this really big skirt on, big big fluffy skirt and then on top of the skirt there's another skirt on top of it almost there yeah it's almost ah uh, you know what no it's part of the dress so like so it's two pieces there's the long skirt and then there's there's an upper piece okay I don't really know how to how that all works <laughs> it's, a, it's a good question okay I've never really looked at Kurumi's dress like in detail but yeah there's this kind of black part of the top all right so so there's a there's a the top part and the bottom part. On the top part, you got this black part that goes around her booty here. All right, and you can kind of you can kind of see a little bit of her booty right there. All right, and then uh, and then yeah, you can see this kind of um, string going along this way, and it looks very straight. All right, it is shaded a little bit. You can see it gets a little lighter around her booty cheeks here. It gets darker down her butt crack. Okay. It gets lighter around here, and there's some frilly stuff right here, very nice, and then there's um, like a chain, she's wearing some kind of chain right here, okay, it's kind of like a gunmetal color, more shading here, like just, just a shading extravaganza, man, it is, the paint is just beautiful on this figure, that's what I'm going to say. All right, and then just she's got this big ribbon on, or bow on the front, like kind of where her belly button would be. All right, and yeah, it like it gets really bright around the center, and it gets darker at the edges. It kind of gives it that glowing effect. Is what I'm gonna say. All right, and then you kind of look at the top of the dress. It's kind of like yeah, the top is like kind of like a corset. It's like really tight. Okay, you get to see the laces around here, and here, and then you can see this lace. It, this kind of pulls the two parts to the it is a corset is basically what it is all right and then uh and then yeah and then there's like a design here it's kind of like a f plant or something or like a weed or something very interesting very nice it's it's all been painted on nicely there's nothing wrong with it or anything and then she's got a little ribbon right here right between her her cleavages, all right, that's what I'm going to say. And then there's a black, oh yeah, it's, it's clear, wow. Okay, so yeah, the this kind of frilly stuff on the top is just black right here. But here, this stuff is clear, okay? You can kind of see through it, it's like a smoke color. This kind of frilly stuff here is uh, smoky, that's what I'm going to say. All right, and then we'll take a look at this arm right here. So she's wearing this kind of like, like a gauntlet it's like a wrist a wrist thing <laughs> all right and it's all lacy here it's like yeah she's it's this goth lolly look man like 
he's going for that gothic look, you know. Uh, these are actually clear. They look clear. Yeah, I think you can see through them a little bit. So the orange is clear here, and then the rest is kind of like a dark brown. There's so many different shades of colors in this figure. They, the paint is just spectacular on this. All right, and then here you've got the red, red laces and a red uh, ribbon right here. Okay, and this is the arm that you can change out. We'll change it out when we're done looking at the figure, okay? She's got her hand right there, and it's pressed against her mouth. All right, and the skin. Ooh, the skin looks so nice. All right, uh, let's finish talking about the dress. So she's got these two straps that go around the shoulder, and then they, they crisscross around her back. Very nice. Ooh, look at the back, man. Ooh, look at the shoulder blades. The skin looks so soft, too. Very smooth skin. So that's how, you know, the, these high dollar figures, the skin looks very smooth. It looks realistic, you know. That's what I'm going to say. Is there any kind of shading on the skin? Ah, uh, you know what? I think there is. Like, around her armpits, it's a little pinker than the rest. Like And, like, her where her spine would be, it's a little pinker than everywhere else, I want to say. And then, uh, then yeah, she's got kind of this choker on. All right. Yeah, man, the skin is so nice. All right, and then there's Kurumi's face. She's got the the red eye and the yellow eye. She's kind of looking off the side. And then, uh, and then she has this kind of hairpiece right here. She always wears. It's transparent orange. Okay, it looks like they could put some kind of finish on it to make it a little shinier. And then here's the red ribbon right here. There should be another one. Yeah, there's another one on the other side. Man, there's just, everything is just painted so well. Everything is in the lines. Everything looks so smooth. And some of it has some shading. All right, let's take a look at her hair. So she's got the black hair and the twin tails. All right, and they're just kind of going out all over the place. Um... It's kind of like a, it's almost like a brown color. Yeah, it's like a really dark brown, and then it turns into light, it shades a light brown. All right, so a lighter shade here, a darker shade here, and then a lighter shade right here. And they're really, they're really smooth. I mean, they're really soft. Look at, look at how their hair moves. It's almost like it's real, <laughs> right? Okay, and then this kind of tail is a little bit smaller. It's interesting. Okay, and it's a little sh little shades of brown, uh, lighter shades of brown right here. Okay, very nice. Oh, okay. And then now let's look at the overall pose of the figure. So, what she's doing is holding up her skirt right here, so so you can see her booty <laughs> or see some leg right there. All right, and then she's got her hand up here on her chin. All right. Okay. The, the paint is just so nice on this figure. Or we'll go change the arm out, okay? Okay, so here's the arm with the gun. I think you just, you're just supposed to pull her hand off. Ooh, her, her hand is so soft, too. Wait, there you go. It's really soft, her finger. You can really move it and stuff. And did she? And she's got some... There's some kind of paint on the finger also. So the fingernails. It's like a very light pink. It really blends in with her hand a whole lot. Very nice. Okay, and then let's go put the the gun hand on. I believe it goes like this. So it's a totally different uh, pose. Okay, I got the gun in there, all right? So there it is. So let's go take a closer look at the gun. And then uh, that'll be the end of the video, okay? So that's what she looks like with the gun in there. I think I'm just going to keep her with the gun. I think both of them look good though. Okay, uh, it was kind of hard to get it in there. <laughs> Not gonna lie, you got to get it in like at a specific angle, and you really got to press it in there. Okay, I'm pretty sure like the paint is scratched up in that area now. Um, <laughs> so, so yeah, she's got the kind of same kind of gauntlet. I'm gonna just gonna call it a gauntlet because it goes around her her wrists. Um, yep, and then she's got the the lace around here, and then the clear frilly stuff right here. All right, and it just is same on the other side, and then there's the gun. Okay, that's a match lock pistol. Um, it's got like a, 
a brass kind of butt plate here on the bottom. All right, and then her finger, no, finger's not on the trigger, not yet anyways, it's just about to pull it though. <laughs> All right, you can see the hammer back here. All right, you can see the hammer. All right, very nice. It's got shading on it too. Um, it really does look wood too. It's got this kind of like aged wood look to it. That's the most realistic Kurumi gun I've ever seen. Okay. Um, yeah, it's got brass. The, the trigger guard is brass too. And it looks kind of dirty too. It's it's like it's been weathered. That's what it looks like. Yeah. It looks like it's been weathered. It's, all, it's like it's got grains of wood and everything. It looks very realistic. That's what I'm going to say. All right. And then this kind of looks like a gunmetal color with the hammer and the flint right here. Okay. I think this is the loading rod right here. Very cool. Okay, so we're done with the scrutinizing process. There really isn't anything to scrutinize. She is absolutely beautiful. Okay, so this is what a $200 figure looks like. Okay, um, this the paint on this figure is one of the best paint I have ever seen on a figure before. Okay, so definitely $200 well spent. This is what $200 gets you guys. All right. And and just the paint is so good, it 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 gives you the glowing effect that like her dress, you know how how her dress is glowing in the anime, it gives you that illusion. All right, how they did it with the um, with the shading. The, this is the best. I'm not gonna lie, this is probably some of the best shading I've ever seen on a figure before ever. All right, um, maybe the skin could use a little more shading, but the skin is so nice. What little skin she's showing, man, I'm telling you, it looks so good. So smooth, you know? It looks realistic, the skin. So good. There's no very good QC. I don't see any dust on this figure at all. I, I would hate to, I know it's I kind of sad that I've exposed her to the world now. <laughs> so I was to say, okay. Um, also, the box is clear. So, uh, so I will probably just keep her in the box is what I'm going to say. Um, yeah, I'm going to use the box as a case. All right, that's what I like about these clear cases, the altar cases. Uh, what I might do is I might put something underneath the base to, to prop her up a little higher. Yeah, I can't really find much to fault with the figure, okay? There's some of, some of the molding doesn't look so good on the dress is what I'm going to say, but that that's, you know, eh... That's being a little nitpicky. I mean, th there's a lot going on with the skirt is what I'm going to say. All right. She's holding the skirt up here. It's like flowing all over the place. There's shading all over the place. You can tell um, the dude that painted this, he made a lot of effort to make her look beautiful. Okay. And she does. All right. Everything. Like, like even, yeah. So that is like, that is like the best trick I've ever seen. All right. I think the part the part of the figure that wowed me the most is the top of the uh, the stockings. Okay, all right, let's go take a look at that again. Yeah, so the top, this part right here, the stockings, where you can see through the lace, you can see your skin. Yeah, that that amazed me. All right, and then just just the amount of shading on this figure, see all the shading right there, and the dress, the way they made the dress glow like that. Oh, dude, it's so good, dude. Okay, there she is, Kurumi Tokisaki from uh, the Data Live Mayuri Judgment anime. Um, by made by Alter, okay, um, or produced by Alter. Uh, this is a uh, this is probably one of the best painted figures I have in my collection. Is what I want to say, and I'm I'm so glad to get her. I've I've been wanting to get this figure for such a long time, and I finally got her. Okay, um, if you're if you're interested in getting one yourself. Um, they are, they're doing a, a second run, a, a reissue of this figure, and it's going to come, I think it's supposed to come out sometime next year, 2022 or something. So you could still get her, expect to pay, you know, around $200, okay. Um, the good thing is, she'll probably be cheaper than uh, than the pre-owned market, okay. Um, the Kurumi figures sell for a lot, okay. And the this, this price is just skyrocket on this figure. So I think I got her for a pretty good deal, 190 I don't have to worry about taxes i don't have to worry about shipping that kind of stuff all right and and she's absolutely gorgeous i am so happy with her 
Um, she will go. She will go right next to my uh, my wedding Kurumi figure. That's what I want to say. Okay. Oh dear, she so, looks so good. Okay, and and this is my favorite. This is my favorite dress that Kurumi wears. Okay, the her astral dress. It looks so good. All right. Thanks for watching. Uh, I will get some uh, 360 shots and close-ups, and that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching.